This week on the Rutgers Basketball Story, we look back at a magical and monumental night at the rack as Rutgers stuns one of the best teams in the nation, Wisconsin. Stay tuned. Jack is playing inspired here in the second half. Good. We have 40 minutes. 40 minutes. To show them. To show them. What we represent. What we sacrifice. God. There you go. How hard we work. 40 minutes. To show them how big and how great we can be. 40 minutes to make every possession. Miles going right to the lane. He puts it. How can he... Every play. Every cheer. That was all desire. Every shot. A three. It's gone. Make them count. 40 minutes. Make, make them, them count. count. It's 40 minutes. We will never have quick game. It's a hard tonight, fellas. It's a hard tonight. Let's go. Nobody said this was going to be easy. We have got the fourth ranked team in the country. We know there are doubters. Wisconsin has never lost against Rutgers. This is our chance to prove them wrong. After 20 minutes, Eddie Jordan's punched down by a cool dozen. It's time to go out and prove this is our house. This is our house. Big Ten, welcome to New Jersey. And this place is erupting! What a night for college basketball, especially for the fans. With anticipation in the air and excitement around every corner, the rack was ready to rock. The rack is the place to be on a Sunday night. Welcome to BGN Basketball from Piscataway. We ready? What? What? We The Scarlet Knights were ready too, ready for the challenge, their mission to derail the fourth ranked Badgers of Wisconsin, a perennial Big Ten powerhouse, a team with a record of 15 and one overall and three and zero in conference play. Still Rutgers was thinking big and for good reason. The team had displayed a lockdown defense and an unselfish offense, qualities which breed success. Just the fourth meeting all time between the Badgers and Scarlet Knights. Wisconsin has never lost against Rutgers. The Badgers haven't lost to a lot of teams. The game started as a defensive tussle. It was scoreless for nearly two minutes. Focus and intensity dominating the landscape. But let's face it, it's hard to keep a giant down, and Wisconsin finally connected on the first basket of the game. Here's the sophomore Kanick, free to move to get open. Junior college transfer Bishop Daniels made his first start since late November, and he made the most of it, scoring nine points. Set the shot clock because he did draw iron and Decker makes that a good point. Five to two lead for Wisconsin. Crafty move, Trayvon Jackson, his first pair. Wisconsin plays hard and plays smart. Their deliberate style wears opponents down. On this night, their defense made its presence felt. Their lead is 12 against Rutgers. Wisconsin's going to have four. Kadeem Jack made his own presence felt, but had no time to rejoice. Here's Gosser. Oh, Nigel Hayes, offensive carom. Fans thought he pushed off a of Miles Mack. Kidding. Oh, buries it from deep. So, Rutgers, for a while, going toe to 
Toronto with the fourth ranked team in the country. But after 20 minutes, Eddie Jordan's punched down by a cool dozen. Rutgers was down but not out, and they came out swinging. Miles Mack's memory was short, and his second half shot smooth. Rutgers did not make a three-pointer in the first half. Mack straight on three, got it! Mack is about a 30% three-point shooter on the year and the leading scorer. Miles Mack and Kadeem Jack hooked up for a dunk to remember. Moments later, frustration set in. Jack, offensive foul. Wow, because of the technical foul. Now Jack needs to be careful. Jack quickly channeled his energy in a positive way. The result, a thunderous jam. He's still on the floor with three personal fouls. is playing inspired here in the second half. Ring and Kadeem steps in the passing lane, steals it, will throw it down with one hand. Jack's heroics ignited the crowd, which in turn fired up Mack. Here's Mack, three-pointer good, his second of the second half. A 14-point deficit was down to seven as Rutgers clawed their way back, and a guy named Shaquille kept the Badgers away. Here's Nigel Hayes outside the right elbow. Hayes going at Dorson, it's blocked by Dorson. Dorson, the game's first block shot, and with that, a whistle. It was that kind of night, with everyone contributing, from freshmen to seniors. Speaking of seniors, one was on fire. The Rutgers defense pestered the Badgers all night long. And on the other end, a kid from the Netherlands did his name proud. Shaq. One dribble, two dribbles, goes at it! Two hand flush! Dorson realizes it, takes the dribble handoff, and it goes to the rim himself. But Wisconsin's lead is just fine. Coach Eddie Jordan called senior Malik Kone of Guinea the unsung hero of the game. Maintained his hot hand all night and scored 20 points for the fourth time this year and the eighth time in his career. Mack drew a foul, went to the line, and calmly hit two shots. He gave his team something they had not seen all game long. First time today that Rutgers has been on top. Wisconsin. The Badgers would not go quietly. What else would you expect from a veteran team on the road? But Rutgers showed plenty of fight of their own, 
and everyone contributed, including 6'7 Junior E2 from the Republic of Congo. Matt working right. Turned on the Jets and turns them off. Matt with Hunter. E2! Rutgers calls their fans family, and the sixth man was omnipresent, comprised of many different age groups. They made things difficult for the Badgers. Miles Mack couldn't do it all by himself down the stretch, so Greg Lewis took the cue. One possession game. Mack turns the corner. Lewis, the follow-up. Three-pointer, Hayes. Two-point game. One minute to play. Rutgers not calling timeout. Mack, who finished with a game-high 21 points, knew the magnitude of the moment. Still, the game was far from over. Kading! Oh, 64-62. Up by two with 24 seconds left, Jack became Mr. Clutch. It's amazing performance, Kadeem Jack. Play with an upset stomach, 20 points. That's a big free throw. The upset victory was so close, the Scarlet Knights could taste it, and so could their fans, who shared in the joy of the moment, a moment that's been a long time coming for a hard-working bunch. Final shot of the day. Decker comes up empty, and they're going to score the court here at the right. This was a win the Rutgers family will never forget. Not the team, the coaches, or the fans who witnessed it. It was pure joy. History tonight in Piscataway. In the long history of Rutgers, never have they beat the top five team. But tonight they have. Rutgers over Wisconsin. It has a nice ring to it, and it looks as good as it sounds. And this place is erupting! Started early. Oh, I'm in a lot because um, I wasn't feeling well. I got a stomach virus. And um, 
hitting the first couple shots really got me in my groove and kept me going all night too. He just got it out. A lot of heart, a lot of guts. We're proud of him. Coach just told me keep going to the basket, you know, because sometimes I get happy with the jump shot. So today I tried to make sure to get in the paint first. Well, we didn't care who was on him. Um, we wanted to get him in the post. We wanted to get him on pick and pops to a drive. We wanted to get Miles in the open floor. So, the, look, it was their guy. The guys just did it themselves. I'm happy. I'm proud of them. And it was a great crowd. It was a great home stand for us. It means a lot because we, we just beat a ranked team, and it shows us we got it. And that's all. Congratulations. Enjoy the win. Much. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to take a day at a time. Uh, and we just got to make sure that we win with class and that we continue to get better. Coach, congratulations. Enjoy the win. Great job. Thanks. Yeah, some of the biggest wins in Rutgers Scarlet Knight history have come on that man's watch as a player, an assistant coach, and now the man in charge. Eddie Jordan, congratulations. Rutgers Scarlet Knights, congratulations. You guys played a whale of a game. Kadeem Jack, 20 points. Miles Mack, 21 points. Two big guns step up when you play defense the way we did as a group. Um, Malik Kone was an unsung hero. Um, Junior E2 just was a stud throughout the entire game. It was just great partnership uh, for 40 minutes. We just want to do it our way. We want to do it classy. We want to do it with integrity. Um, and we have a character bench. We have a character group. They're, they're good kids. They want to learn. They're very coachable. I enjoy coaching this team, win or lose. Um, and we just had a great time this week in practice. We never looked at Wisconsin. We had a lot of fun, and uh, it was just a good shoot around this morning, and we just didn't want to, as I said, want the pink elephant, as Al McGuire would say. We didn't want the pink elephant in the room, and that was Wisconsin. We just want to have fun competing and getting better ourselves. Our guys and our crowd was, were great tonight. And this place is on the verge of erupting! Oh, it's, a, it's a great feeling. It's um, just scholar fever. <laughs> scholar fever. <laughs> it means a lot. I kind of um, looked over at him um, during all the chaos, and he looked over at me, and I think we just understood like all the stuff that we've been through with the whole rushing of the floor and stuff like that. So um, it was it's crazy for it to come into fruition like that. Uh, pretty much, yes. Yes, I, I think um, I don't have a, like, a Richter skill, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that was a lot of it was great. Um, first of all, I want to thank like my teammate for um, passing me the ball, trust in the offense, and because I told Miles that big threes, I'm gonna be ready for it. Just pass me the ball in the corner because my men gonna help me and I will make it. And, uh, everything is about trust. Say so trust me, pass me. Corner three, God! Malik Kone! It's great to have the, the crowd, the crowd on our side. They play a big part in our victory, so I just want the crowd to come out like that every game. Uh, it does a lot for us, man. It's, it's just to keep our confidence level higher and uh, just come out and practice with great confidence and uh, just go on to, uh, to our next game against Maryland with, uh, with high confidence and just play the same basketball we played today. I'm just happy for our community, you know? Um,
we've, we've suffered. And I'm just happy for them. Happy for everybody in the state, our, um, our faculty, um, everybody that supports me, our fans. Um, and that this, hopefully, this is part of the healing process that we have to go through in the process that we've talked about. I'm just, you know, I love, I love my school. Um, I love this community, and I'm happy for it.